stretching out my back a little bit. Um, why, you may ask? Because of uh, running distances I've been covering over the last couple of days. It's been pretty cool. I don't know where I put my phone, but it's in it somewhere. Um, running a bit at the moment. Just finished a, what, four-mile run on the way back from work today, actually. That was pretty cool. Um, one Running in a straight line is weird, isn't it? There's something about running in a straight line that takes it. I guess that's why people like to do little loop-de-loops around blocks and stuff when they're running. I tend to do the same route all the time, especially when I'm doing it in the morning. There's like a little route that I've, I've kind of specked out as like a 5K. But running in a straight line, like usually if you come back from, if you're, if you're working, you, I don't know, it depends how people run back home. If you work somewhere in Central, most of the time you are running back home in a very straight line because Central London usually, the main roads lead into it are one straight road, isn't it? It's not really often that you're kind of going up a windy street. Uh, maybe un- until you get to your actual area that you live in. Um, but for me, obviously, because it's the main sort of like street, it's like, well, what's that road called again? I'm not going to say it's Commercial Street. I don't know what that road is. That road from like Old Gate East all the way up until Stratford. Whatever that road is, whatever that massive kind of street is, that's where I kind of have to run. And um, yeah, it's just one straight road. You're just running. And, and the only thing you have to be um, conscious of is pedestrians, which is always interesting, isn't it? I, I don't know what it is about people when they see you running that they don't tend to... I guess because I'm the, I'm the bigger guy, isn't it? Like, I'm two, 220 and I'm running down the street full pace. It might be beneficial if you get out of the way, isn't it? Because if I I can't necessarily be trusted to have the reflex or the athletic capability to stop, drop and roll, isn't it? And spin out of the way and make sure I don't hit you. If I hit you, you're going to feel it, isn't it? It's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt. Especially for like the, the little frail women or like the girls and stuff. But I think because they see you running, sometimes a lot of people actually even noticing it. They're just kind of caught in a trance, just kind of staring. They're, they're not really looking at you. They're just sort of like staring into space. And then you end up having to like be the one having to move out of the way. So I'm very conscious of that. So that's why now I try the most thing, the most common thing that I do is I try and run along the right at the edge of the sidewalks next to the where the cars are because then people don't tend to run up or walk on that side because you know, in case you get run up by a car. So I'm like literally running on that bit. But that bit tends to be the most hazardous bit on the street because that's where all the kind of chips are and the pavements are a bit, you know, sticking out of the place. So if you stack and buckle your toe in it, you're, you know what I mean? I've already had a few... Uh, uh, road injuries due to my inability to see those uh, slabs on the floor so it's not the most funnest thing but yeah pedestrians are hard man but again I'm not one of these guys that gets annoyed or starts because I've seen some guys when they run <clears throat> and they bump into pedestrians and pedestrians don't move out of the way they do that kind of like you know those angry cyclist stuff like start swearing and shouting at people in the street and stuff and I don't really understand that number one because you never know who you're shouting at right you just need to be aware that you know you might think you're a hard ass. You might think you're a bad boy. You might think you're good. You might think you're strong, but you know you never know who you're talking to, in it? So just relax. And number two, like with pedestrians, in it. Really, if anything, I'm more of a nuisance than pedestrians walking. Me running, I'm more of a, a nuisance. Like me running, my big ass running everywhere is actually causing them more stress and harm than actually what they're doing. So I have to be conscious of what how they are feeling in the situation. So I tend to just you know. Give people the benefit of the doubt. It's not all about me. And if I bump into somebody, okay, sorry. Just keep moving. What am I going to do? Shout and scream about what? What are we going to do? Am I going to fight a mama four because her pram got in the way of me running? Or should I Or should I make the, <laughs> the adjustments to kind of move to the left or move to the right? So I try and avoid any friction, any confrontation. Just, you know, just keep it moving. And again, like, it's not that serious really, isn't it? It's just whatever, isn't it? Just keep it going. Um, That's quite cool. You know what's really funny as well, which is something I have to only admit to myself. I know people won't admit it, they won't be honest about it, but I get a real big satisfaction. <laughs> I feel really good about myself when I run back home and I run past a McDonald's. I feel really good about myself. I look at those fat fucks in there and I'm like, huh, look at me, look at you, I'm a better human. I, I get really judgy like that, <laughs> do you know what I mean? And I know, you know, it, it doesn't come from a good place because for sure on a Saturday morning, when I'm hungover, the first thing I want to do is open my phone and order an Uber Eats and get a McDonald's delivered to my fucking, you know, to my apartment whilst I sit on my comfy king size bed, do you know what I mean, scuffing my face full of chips. So, you know, who really is a fat ass you know, in that regard? But there is some kind of level of pride, I feel, running past a fast food establishment and seeing people like mid and it's always like, you know, they always seem to catch they seem they always seem to catch you at their worst time and you always seem to catch them at their worst time, right? I guess it's it's that kind of feeling that people have you know, people in their head probably have the idea, oh, when I see my ex again, I'm going to be fit and strong, six packs up. But usually when you do bump into your ex, it's usually at your worst. Do you know what I mean? You look like a mess. 
you've probably just struck out talking to four girls they've seen it you know whatever it's not the best of times but this on these occasions it's always the best time for me i'm running full pelt with my running gear i've got my band i love my music woof, 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 my neon socks and shit i look to the left and people eating about in the mcdonald's and they're always like mid bite that like, <gasps> and then there i am saying yeah you sh- this is what you should be doing this is my burger you know like getting all judgy and shit it's just fucking pathetic but you know again i am who i am in it you have to be honest with yourself <laughs> in these kind of situations um but yeah that's been pretty fun doing that so that that kind of covers most of my mileage because i'm trying to do 10 miles a week at least minimum so that's four each way coming back and forth from work that helps a bit and then in the weekend just do a cut a few sprint repeats relays and whatever they may be maybe a big run on sunday and then they're basically done for the most part but yeah it's excruciating it's hard it's difficult it takes a lot out of you but you know this is the life we lead in it we can't cannot we cannot complain about the life we choose really